Well, it's another wonderful day here at uh, Pirate Central. Working on my book crowdfund. You can see the uh, picture of the book cover. That's our site. It's uh, gofund.com at father underscore son underscore book. So I guess the, uh, the gist of the GoFunds is that you need to have a, a video of some sort. So I've been working on that. Um, got it set up in PowerPoint. Kind of took my general author presentation from uh, book fairs where I've signed books and expanded it out to be uh, there to cover part of what I write, part of my body of work, and then slowly work in, not slowly, abruptly, I guess, work into the crowdfund pitch, uh, which is kind of near and dear to my heart. Uh, this is a book that my son and I have written together over the net. So we'll put the crowdfund video out here shortly. The project's already outlined. The GoFund account's already going. We've got about a third, sorry, a tenth, 10% of the funding that we need to really make the book pop. Um, hey, notice something, second video, you're not looking up my nose. So it reposition the camera. Make my little cantilever dude over here and I can wiggle it back and forth and pop you back and forth onto the screen. I haven't stopped touching my glasses though, so still haven't solved that little mystery, but uh, we'll get there. It'll easily get better as time goes on. Uh, so anyways, the, uh, the video's been processing. I, I stepped through it, the PowerPoint presentation. I'm looking over here. That's the big computer screen I showed you in the last video. And uh, stepped it through and timed it and ran it using the PowerPoint function to record it. So it's creating the MP4. Now I have to uh, do the actual live narration. I'm going to do that in a um, movie making program that happened to come with the computer. It's not great, but it'll get the job done. I've got a sound editing program. Uh, I wanted to use some sound snips from some songs, of course. Being an author myself, I hate it when people rip my crap off, so I don't want to rip their stuff off. Uh, you know, little cats in a cradle, maybe. But uh, uh, the, the hoops I'd have to jump through to get that approved, uh, the publisher, the artist, family, and all that good stuff, it's just, it's just too much. So I'll find some um, uh, public domain or some free license stuff to kind of back the video with some music. I've got some stuff I wrote years ago. Unfortunately, it's all recorded on either reel-to-reel -reel or tape. Good stuff, you know, enjoyable stuff. Uh, good acoustic guitar, but uh, getting it transferred and over, as a medium over to the computer might be more hassle than it's worth. So, but I'll drag the tapes out and take a quick look at it and see if it's if it's uh, salvageable. If not, I'll just grab some uh, of the free license stuff and some of the older uh, operatic stuff and maybe use that as the background music to the video. It looks like the video runs about eight minutes. The Everybody says that your crowdfund video needs to be, you know, right there, right there. Get them excited. So, uh, eh, I don't know if I can do it that quick and that that easy uh, without leading people through the, a story and, and give a compelling reason before making the pitch. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's backwards. We'll see. Uh, the cool part about the editing software is I'll be able to flip the, the video on its head if it's, if it's not working. Um, so, anyways... That's where we're kind of at right now. Uh, I think my next little stream will, I'll talk about one of my, I've talked a little bit about uh, Pulped already. I'll talk about Manatech, which is the side project to, uh, it's kind of a brain fart I had uh, while we were working on Blood of NVIDIA, which is the project with my son. So anyways, video will be out on YouTube. Uh, I'm not sure how to connect Periscope to YouTube. Uh, I think my YouTube channel is, uh, you know what, let's see what my YouTube channel name is. Uh, hey, it's not TubeTube, it's YouTube. Uh, anyways, I think if you look up Tom Tinney or you look up, uh, uh, let's see here, my channel is called, um, no idea. I think if you look up, uh, uh, oh, there it is. Logged in. My channel is called Tom Tinney. Okay, so look up Tom Tinney. I might change that. Uh, there's a little picture on there that says Tom Tinney's Fabric of the Universe. That's the whole science or the sci-fi series, and that's kind of this the web platform I'm building is Fabric of the Universe. Uh, 
uh, because the first thre book I wrote was Threads, and uh, Fabric of the Universe plays into that. So, um, yeah, I may change the name here, but my channel is Tom Tenney. I have the slub. I have an actual little video on how to, to take the backs of your cards, your uh, blank business cards. So I have a business card with a QR code on it. I have that printed up by Vistaprint, kind of a cool little business card. I pass this out for uh, the book. The book has a QR code on back. But I, what I didn't have at the time was my personal website or my author website. So what I did was, here, let me lean back. Nice flag, huh? Ooh, pirates. Um, what I did is I created a little uh, holder that lets me take this standard card you know, with all the normal information, and then I create this card, and I actually print it over the website information, and then the little uh, fabric of the universe at the bottom. Oops, you know, turn it over. There you go. Hey, website fabric of the universe at the bottom, so that it just kind of spaces out and uh, shows the the card with a little more information. So, anyways, like the, there's a video on how to do that, and using just your home printer uh, convert your cards over. The cool part is if your regular card doesn't have a QR code on the back, you can now set it up using the same little template I, I described in the video to put QR codes on the back. Um, becoming more and more popular, those, those crazy kids today, they love their QR codes. Pretty much, if you're not putting out a QR code on a poster or a picture, uh, you know, kids today just, they either want to hold the phone up, hit it, take it to it, save the, bookmark the site or buy the whatever right then and there. They're not going to sit there and type in an extended uh, web name, uh, so this just gets them there faster. So. If you're not using QR codes, use them. There's a whole bunch of free generators online. And uh, pretty much plaster them all over any sort of literature or any sort of output you're going to have. So, anyways, that's it for this one. We'll talk to you later.